Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on what I uh, know them to be would be actually the uh, Tortured Souls. Are very similar to the Cenobites from the Hellraiser series. Uh, except there's no movies or anything based on these characters. There is a two series set based on these. I got a total of five of them and we're going to touch base on all of them that I have. Um, there are some other ones out there that I don't really, not really interested in collecting them. Uh, but I do love the Torture Souls. I think they're very cool. They're very similar to the Cenobites from the Hellraiser series. As they're actually from a different uh, part of the um, Hell. These guys are from actually from the Primordium where in the Hellraiser series, obviously it's uh, Leviathan, actually creates the Cenobites. Not sure about these guys here, I think they're just created by um, certain, there's a certain character here that I have. Uh, he's actually the one that actually creates them. Uh, it's been a while since I actually messed around and know their history and stuff. Uh, but I want to show you some of the characters and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're going to be talking about this one here. This one is Camille Noir. She is part of, the, I believe, Series 2 of the actual Tortured Souls. They say there is a total of six of them. I have five, but I believe there is more than that because of the two series set. But this was the last one that I actually purchased. The other ones I bought in a pack from eBay for like 60 bucks, And they didn't come in their clamshells or anything like that, but they were in pristine condition. So, we're going to talk about this one and give you some close-up shots of this one here. Now, I'm not going to get into the history of these because, like I said, it's been a while since I've actually um, delved into these. So I don't really know much about it anymore. They've just been sitting on my shelf looking pretty, okay? So, with this in mind, I'm going to shut off the turntable and give you a nice close-up shot of Camille Noir. Now, let me push that back a bit without it falling. There we go. Alright, now, pull this back. Now, as you can see here, she has a blade-like um, situation, like a helmet on her head. Because, obviously, it sliced right through her head there. And she's got these huge skin-like wings. They do move a little bit, but as you can see, they pop out. Which, I didn't want that to happen, but it is what it is. Okay. But anyway, this was the latest one that I actually bought. The articulation in these figures, they are McFarlane figures, okay? They are not NECA or anything. The articulation is different than that of any NECA figure. They do move at the shoulders. Because they're a smaller figure, uh, the articulation is obviously a little bit different. But as you can see here, her skin is very cool looking. It took a little bit of time to actually set these up here. And it's got the blade-like thing sticking out right here. Oops, something fell. right here that fell okay I don't know what that came from but anyway the back of her she's very bloody like as you can see she's got this long skirt well not a skirt but it's more like a half skirt All right. and she's got these ribbons that wrapped around her which I thought was pretty cool All right. But anyway, and she's quite chesty too. All right. I'll give you a close-up shot of her face. These guys are very cool, in my opinion. I would love to see them actually do a um, movie based on these guys, but they would have to actually seriously take it serious and sink a whole lot of money into the production of it because the costumes they got to be right. You got to get the right actors and actresses to portray these guys. And the storyline needs to actually be really decent, too. But, unfortunately, there is no movies based on these guys. Which is a shame. Okay, so now we're going to move on to... Oops. Vino Anatomica. Okay, now this guy right here... 
He's just loaded with all kinds of chains. Um, as you can see, let me move that in so you can see it a little bit better. It's very cool looking, okay? Let me just, uh, I know what's going on here, hang on. There we go. There it is. Okay. Okay. So with this in mind, this is Venal Anatomica. He, um, not sure about his history again. I know he was converted by uh, Agonistes. Agonistes is more like Leviathan from the um, the Hellraiser series. Leviathan is the one that actually creates the Cenobites. And according to this, I believe Agonistes is the one that actually creates these guys here. They are di from a different... Um, from a different realm of hell. It's called the Primordium. But anyway, long story short, this guy is very cool looking too. Okay. Let me shut him off. Okay. He's got all kinds of chains. This guy is very cool. You see he's got this hook. Okay. Lots of chains as you can see right here. He's even got this ball like spike. He can do some major damage, that's for sure. And he's got all kinds of stuff hanging off. See, I think he's pretty cool looking. The hands are very cool looking too. He's just full of all kinds of blades and chains. Yeah, this is very cool looking. He's even got a spike in his head. Which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to show you what his face looks like. Yeah, he got nailed in the head, see? And straight to the shoulder. I think that's pretty cool. Right. But anyway, this is Venal and Anatomica. I think he's more or less like a protege to Lucidique, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Now, I will tell you this about Lucidique. She is probably the most expensive one of the bunch. Because I've seen it on eBay. People are trying to sell her for like $200. I end up getting lucky getting a group pack for a set of four for like 60 bucks. So can't complain about that right guys anyway there's that blade like thing I think that's pretty cool anyway that is Vena Anatomica all right now with that in mind let's get into the Scythe Meister all right now I'll just kind of show you what he looks like he's very cool looking and he's got all kinds of apparatuses strapped to his back and stuff and his face is fully stretched with skin, as you can see. It is a sexualized torture type situation, very similar to the Cenobites, where they super stretch and torture your skin. These guys are no different in that aspect. Articulation-wise for this guy here, um, the arms do move. I don't know about the elbows, so I'm not going to make that attempt. But that's what he looks like here. He's got a very cool looking outfit. And as you can see here, the chains, it's got this spear-like thing going on here. This thing right here, you could actually have him holding it, but I'm going to leave it where it's at. It's also got this ring-like thing right here. See? But anyway. Chains strapped to the back. See, this is loose, so. And that's what that looks like. The Scythe Meister. He was actually, I believe, according to the history, was manipulated by Lucidique because I think he murdered his, her father and stuff. And obviously, Agonistes turned him into this. That's what it is, more or less. But that is the Scythe Meister. So I'm going to show you what he looks like up close here. Okay, now let's get into. Agonistes, and then we'll get into Lucidique. Make sure these guys stand up right. Hang on for a second here, guys. I don't want these guys to fall on me. There we go. Alright. Alright, now. Agonistes. This guy is full of all kinds of goodness here. As you can see, the head. The helmet on this thing is actually supposed to actually snapping you see the little holes in the top 
but because it's a soft plastic I don't want to kind of force it so I just leave it sitting right there on the head all right but that's what he looks like and he's got this apparatus here with skin which is actually supposed to super stretch like so and that's what that looks like and you can see the skin on that is very cool looking this is Agonistes he's more like a Leviathan he's the one that actually creates the uh, tortured souls uh, that's about according to what they say alright <coughs> He's got this little apparatus here, which I think is really cool. It's a blade-like thing. I think that's really cool. And he's got these here as well. So there's all kinds of stuff on this guy. Chains, okay. All the way straight down to the hooks. All right, he's got belts. Okay, it's a very cool design. When they did the McFarlane figures, they are highly detailed. I will tell you that. And that's cool right there. The chest. Okay. And that, my friends, is Agonistes, okay? Show you his face. And then we're going to get into Lucidique here, guys. Okay. Enough about this guy here. <coughs> Okay, now it's time for Lucidique. She is the most expensive and the most popular one of the tortured souls. Okay. And this, my friends, is Lucidique. Okay. Okay, her articulation is a little different. She does come with various weapons. I'm going to show you what those look like here in a second. But that's her face right there. Let me get that out of the way so you can see her face. There is stories behind these guys. If you get the um, the novella for this, it explains everything. It's history, each of the characters. Like I said, I'd like to see them actually do a movie based on these guys here. Now, as you can see right here, her hair is absolutely gorgeous. Nicely detailed figure here. All right. And she's got this weapon here. Okay. Her skirt is all strapped tight, okay, along with the chains. There is other accessories, chains here. I'm going to show you what those look like. It kind of broke off. And, you know, eventually I would put them back on, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. See, this one here is missing a piece. As you can see, it's just, oh, it's, it's all tangled up. That's what it is. Okay. But anyway, that is Lucidique. Okay, and I'm going to show you the accessories to Lucidique. Does come with other weapons here, okay. And she's got a pale skin. All right, she's very cool. She's the most popular one of the bunch, and obviously the most expensive. Like I said, she's running as high as two hundred dollars on eBay. Certain people are trying to sell her for that price. All right, anybody in their right mind would not buy her for that price. You can definitely find it cheaper. Okay, but anyway, that is Lucidique. <coughs> Okay, weapons. This thing she's got. This thing's crazy looking. Look at that. It's got like a bronze color to it, or maybe it's a little bit of blood. I'm not sure where they would do that. But she holds that, so. Here's the other part of the chain. That, oh, this is the actual, another weapon of hers. Yeah, she's got some cool weapons. Now this here is the chain. I got, like I said, I got to get it fixed. Put it back on there. Okay, and it's got the little hook at the bottom. So it is part of Lucidique's character. So, okay, with that in mind, I believe that is it for now. I'm gonna put this up here so you can get a good look at him. <clears throat> that's it on my torture souls like I said I only got five of them there is one more I definitely want to get <clears throat> but it's um, further down the line 
But eventually I will pick it up and we'll do a, an actual toy review based on that. These are McFarlane figures. The articulation and uh, obviously the detail uh, surpasses most uh, NECA figures um, because they really put a lot of effort into their details. As you can see, this thing is absolutely cool looking. All right. But that is the Scythe Meister. The actual detail and all kinds of the accessories and everything they put into these things are very cool. If you're into Tortured Souls, you definitely want to collect these things. These are very cool. Unfortunately, like I said, they haven't made a movie on it. But if they ever did, my opinion, they need to put some effort into it. Not like they treated the Hellraiser series. Uh, they would give them a small budget of 150000 and they would make the movie, and it would turn out to be shit. Okay? They um, need to put a lot of money into it and a lot of effort into the costumes. As you can clearly see, they need to be spot on. Okay, The actual characters need to be treated you know, according to the novella. And the storyline obviously needs to stand out to it. It needs to be a movie that people will remember, in my opinion, anyway. But anyway, that's it on my Tortured Souls. Hope you guys liked this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. Okay, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.